Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So I thought of making this video because I think I haven't seen really much about this issue. You know, these batteries are unsafe and uh, they could explode at any moment and could cause total destruction or hurt someone, kill someone. It's really not a joke. So ever since I first started, I actually picked up one of these. Um, however, it's not, it wasn't this one. It was exactly the same one, but this is the second one. Because the first one actually wore out. And it's still good, nothing bad about it. Um, just the threads here wore out. But I ordered another one because I liked it so much. And uh, I didn't have time to fix the other one, but I'll fix it later. So this one is very good. It fits around 25 lipos. It's not that thick of a material, but you know it'll buy you that extra couple seconds to grab a hose, grab a bucket, grab a person. Um, just, you know, it'll, it'll help you in, you know, just take every single safety precaution you possibly can take with these because I absolutely have no trust in any battery at all. Um, at all, I don't, nothing. So I try to take every single precaution I possibly can take and which is why I have this. However, this, this time when I decided to order, I also decided to order another one and, um, the other one is a bit cheaper and guys this is not expensive this one's six dollars and this one's five dollars and this one could fit around 25 1500 milliamp uh infinity graphene batteries however when you have a mixture like me 5s 4s 1800 milliamp uh 1300 uh, i tend to fit less but if you know if you organize them you can fit a lot more uh so i usually fit you know 25 of these here uh, when i just put the infinities in here however you know these are so good they're pretty well i mean not so good this one's pretty good and uh this new one that i've gotten is just insane it's a dollar cheaper too so let me just actually show this to you because i really thought oh, you guys should see this here it is i got it for banggood five bucks uh, it's very difficult to make out the dimensions and um when i got it i didn't know what to expect really i just got it you know just to try it, it was five bucks i want to see how good it is plus i need another one so when i got it and I opened it, I knew it was good. One thing, the material is hella thick. Very thick material, the, the fireproof material here. And if you check out the opening mechanism, it's just it's insane. So that just says a lot right there. And you do have another closing part here, which you would open like so, and it fits hell of a lot of batteries also. In here is about maybe, I don't know, 22 batteries maybe. I'm not sure actually, but it's, it's in that range. Uh, the material here is very thick, as you can see, very thick, and as you can see here, the quality seems uh, very good, actually, and it seems like it's going to be very durable. You know, this one lasted me eight months, and basically on the six months is when I started noticing that issue, but I really didn't have any time to uh, have someone just, you know, re-thread it here, down here. Basically, just this starts coming off. It just comes off, you know, it doesn't rip or anything, it just comes off. Uh, the threading wasn't just maybe tied well at the end, I don't know how threading works, but um, yeah, I guess that's what happened. But, you know, the whole point of this video is I do highly recommend, this is a must-have. It's not even a recommendation. It's, it's, it's actually a must-have because, you know, this could be the difference between someone getting hurt, someone dying, destroying your house, or just having partial damage. So this is a very important investment that everyone should make, who has, you know, even small batteries. You know, all it takes is one S, like a little tiny 500 milliamp or even less, one S battery next to a curtain, and, um... You're going to have the worst day of your life, possibly. It could probably even affect the rest of your life uh, just from one battery. So I take every single precaution I possibly can take, um, especially when they're charged. Usually I charge at night before um, I go flying the next day. And <laughs> my, the batteries are just on my mind constantly. Uh, what I do is I would see if, I could, if there's an empty corner in the house far away from any exit and just stick it there in case anything happens we could kind of i could get whoever is in the house my brother mother child wife anything out of the house as soon as possible with reducing the amount of injuries now however if i don't have an open spot anywhere in the house i actually keep them in the same room as me but on the opposite corner of where the door is and have a fire extinguisher with me uh, right next to my bed so if i ever needed anything i just reach over grab it and take whatever precaution I could possibly take to minimize damage or reduce the chance of any injury or any deaths. So, you know, play this smart. It's only $5. Um, I do highly recommend you get yourself one, even if you have like one or two batteries. Uh, you just never know. You can't really trust these batteries. They're, I believe they're all like ticking time bombs. And um, I haven't had yet anything go bad with me, all with my batteries, but 
I'm not going to give it the chance for it to happen because all it takes is one battery. So if you can imagine just one battery goes off in here, this is going to be a very terrible day, even right now, you know, but I could kind of somewhat take it. This bag could give me that extra 10 seconds to or two seconds to grab whatever I needed to grab to try to minimize or spray around the area to kind of keep it contained in one spot or try to put it out. I don't know if lithium polymers like lithium ion. But I know lithium ion, there's no way in hell you can turn it off unless it burns itself out. So the initial charge or explosion will not burn out until it burns itself, or the lithium ion burns itself out. And then you could start turning it off, basically. So I don't know about lithium polymer, but we know they, they packed they pack a lot of capacity and a lot of juice in them. So um, yeah, th these are basically very dangerous. And uh, it's not a toy, it's not a joke. And um, I would do highly recommend you take every single safety precaution you could possibly take. And don't be like one of those guys, oh, that'll never happen to me. Because you never know. And um, life will teach you that someday if you're one of those guys. And um, I'm pretty sure everyone here is very um, smart and very intelligent and have some common sense. And um, you should invest in some kind of fireproof bag or something for your batteries. And um, I really thought this video was important. And um, there isn't really much about these bags out there maybe we'll do some kind of review we'll we set a fire in them see how good they are uh, I'll, I'll figure it out we'll see how we're gonna do there but even even if they're not super fireproof they'll at least buy you a couple seconds to do what you got to do and um, yeah that's it I really think it's important and I really think everyone out there should know this and actually possibly invest in one of these this is only five bucks so and this will last you that's for sure and well that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and stay safe and i will see you next time see you guys take